गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीबॉडी सलाम वालेकुम बॉन्जोर हेलो आदाब कैसे हैं आप सब हाउ आर यू ऑल यू गाइस सो टुडे इज द मोस्ट अमेजिंग डे फॉर मी पर्सनली ऑन दिस ट्वेंटी सेकेंड ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर हेयर आई एम वॉन्टिंग टू ब्रिंग इन अ वेरी वेरी स्पेशल पर्सन एंड आई वॉन्ट टू इंट्रोड्यूस यू ऑल टू हेम वॉट डू आई से अबाउट हेम पर्सनली आई नोन हेम फॉर द लास्ट फाइव ईयर्स and uh, such a dedicated soul one thing to bring in into the zoom session today kularatnam sir kularatnam sir is actually an accountant by profession and working as a chief finance officer for a security company he started his meditation journey 6 years ago he is completely involved with tssm uk tssm tamil Europe meditation coach Ayappa's Pindi sir group and so many others he's attended various workshops and retreats conducted by senior masters like Pradeep Vijay Ayappa Pindi Prabodh Achyuta Saroja Gullapalli and Pranita and so many other masters he personally conducts regular meditation and wisdom sharing sessions in english Tamil with various meditation groups so with absolute salutation to you sir i welcome you today in this wonderful infinity session good afternoon good afternoon madraj ji sir thank you for your beautiful song and also ma'am your beautiful songs even though i couldn't hear the i couldn't actually understand the words but uh, you know the tears came uh, when i was listening the ma'am song as well and you sir you you always sing and uh, you know it's a wonderful thing you started the session with the singing and uh, um, um patricia sir wouldn't actually start the session without uh, start or end the session without your singing whenever you joined in the 2000 and 2001 session live session thank you so much for your beautiful voice and your charming um voice and chatting thank you so much um thank you thank start, you thank you so much thank you for the introduction beautiful introduction thank you sir thank you today i'm going to just kind of ask you a few questions and um tell me something about yourself sir i just want to know i mean you know kula sir that i believe you came to uk i think uh, quite a few years ago so tell us about your life before coming to uk or your childhood or you know anything that has kind of moved you in your childhood towards spirituality thank you thank you thank you for asking that one uh, yeah i came to uk uh, in 1985 a uh, very long time uh, time ago nearly 38 80 years ago and i actually born in sri lanka uh, uh, very 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 small island called nainadivu in the northern part of sri lanka and uh, as you all know uh, when you actually look at the world map as a sri lanka is a tiny little island in the world map uh, where i born is a tiny little dot in sri lanka map is it that tiny little uh, island and when you actually look at the distance is like a 20 miles uh, away from the indian coastline and 20 miles away from the big city in the northern part of sri lanka is called jaffna is the northern part of jaffna therefore we are in the middle and a tiny little island that is where actually i born and i lived there some like 15 years for my up to secondary school a little bit then i moved to the city for the higher education but uh, i thoroughly enjoyed and i still have lots of connection to my native place uh, uh nainadivu is a tiny island i said and my father used to be a um, village chief um, um, um uh, chief clerk for the village council and uh, mother was a housewife but we are, we are seven of us and i was the youngest of them um, all and we we had everything we had everything and uh, we were really sort of you know my mother is used to be uh, a spiritual person um um we both uh, my my parents are spiritual uh, i would say religious 
people rather than spiritual because um, even i i heard about meditation when i was small and i thought you know just uh, uh, you know singing some song was the uh, 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 definition of uh, meditation until i sort of you know came to know properly uh, over in the uk i thought the meditation uh, meditation just sitting and singing and going to the temple is uh, uh, is, is called like a meditation but my mother always used to go to the temple therefore there, there is definitely there was some sort of connection with the religion as well as the spirituality as well for our family and i'm going back to my island or the village um it is very very powerful island this particular island has a temple for all four religions like a temple for hinduism temple for buddhism and there's a church there is a mosque i mean um, the is only 2000 people lives there now but when i was small it used to be like a, you know quite a lot of people like a three and a half four thousand but now it's like a two thousand but this 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 place is a holy place and there is a hindu temple called nine nagabhushan yamman and uh, the history actually says there used to be a snake coming all the way from india to this island the, those days uh, british uh, time as well i think pre british um, colony um is used to be india sri lanka all connected as a sort of you know one one continent sort of thing therefore this uh, snake used to come from all the way from india to this temple and uh, place a flower uh, uh, flower in the um, um you know statue or something therefore this sort of there are lots of history behind and you know when they, when they have annual festival we get really you know 50 to 75000 people coming to the island you know we can actually cope with the number of people coming that are during that time on top of it as i said there is a buddhist temple the buddhist temple also is a very big uh, buddhist temple there um, and um, according to the buddhism history in sri lanka gautam putta actually astrology traveled to this uh, island as well therefore there is a uh, lots of you know spirituality and religious things involved with the city uh, this uh, small island and i'm so privileged um, when i actually go um, think back to born there you know solely holy place and now i moved to london london also like you know, so much energy energy here energy energetic place and um, you know people are now saying like you know you have a duty to do something and that's why sort of you know you i mean i never imagine i'll be living in london when i was really tiny but you know end of the day you actually end up in a different different location to do your work that's what i feel like you know you have a sole plan to come and do some services wherever you need and uh, that is, that is uh, i feel like you know i'm actually sort of here to do my work as well and uh, through the meditation actually i learned you know everyone has a there is a uh, duty and responsibility to take a birth uh, wherever you were born and you know you need to carry out your sort of sadhana and service to, to the community and you know um, is a wonderful uh, you know wonderful question you actually asked me about just going back and you know and uh, one of the other thing i want is you know i want to go there and teach meditation as well some point and uh, i will actually catch on that one day by later on but um, that is the you know uh, i moved here when i was 24 and you know then my spiritual uh, i i actually Uh, nearly a year or so when i was sri lanka working in the city in colombo uh, accidentally got involved with the meditation as well my sister and other people used to go for meditation but i wasn't sort of you know very keen on it but you know just for a fun i go out then i came to uk then is like a uh, buddha was searching for his uh, like a seven years looking for meditation uh, here and there for a, um, i was when i came to the uh, uk mainly i was doing some studies working and etc but uh, here and there um, uh, i was actually trying to connect with the meditation for a very very long time i didn't actually do meditation but um, uh, i'll come back to that story how i actually connected with the pss later on but you know th- that was my uh, 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 childhood to up to sort of coming to uk uh, live the story thank you for asking that question thank you thank you sir so uh, well uh, that is very interesting to know you know i mean that you have been kind of associated to meditation and you as you rightly said 
uh, you know, this is something which all of us need to practice. Uh, so uh, let me ask you this. So what was the turning point of event that led you to explore this Anapanasati meditation? That that was um, Anapanasati, uh, our meditation. Yeah, so six years ago. But uh, uh, I must add, like, uh, um, uh, during my life in the UK, I, I was actually sort of, you know, wherever the word meditation comes, wherever there is a flyer or something comes into the thing, I was getting attracted to this meditation. Therefore, um, um, uh, I'll say another small story. I, I, I used to work in the city, come out from the office like a, um, 5.30, and there was a small church not far from the office. And um, um, there was a poster saying that, you know, we do meditation here. Oh, here we go, you know. Then what they do is they actually light a little lamp in the middle of the church. And uh, when people, all walks of people walk into the um, church and meditate. And I was actually regularly sort of going there for without no reason. But their technique is nothing to do with uh, nothing like a breath meditation. But um, I think they, they wanted to observe the, um, watch the uh, hand, candle that time. But I was here and there. My mind was, and now I know why I was actually sort of, you know, attracted to this meditation because in my past life, definitely I was doing meditation. I was teaching meditation. Therefore, I can actually see, uh, you know, the connection between. But uh, I was attracted to meditation even though while I was um, 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 working, but not actively meditating. But, you know, past six years, definitely, definitely, you know, without uh, meditation, I don't actually pass the day without uh, proper meditation every day. Yeah, that is a story. Thank you. Great. So, as a, as someone who has practiced meditation for six years, how do you compare your life before and after adopting this practice of Anapanasati meditation? I mean, it is it, completely, completely transformed myself. And, uh, uh, you know, whenever I come across uh, like a daily issues, I actually sort of feel like, you know, um, you know, it's like a chaos. I get angry. I get annoyed. And uh, it's, um, you know, everything is used to be like, a, you know, my mind just go like a crazy. Nowadays, everything is so easy. You know, you don't actually sort of, you know, worry about any uh, any sort of trouble, any, any sort of issue. You take it as a challenge. And uh, I don't get angry. I, um, I mean, there are so many changes in my life. Like even I lost weight. You know, after doing meditation, you know, uh, everything very mindful. Whatever I do, I'm so mindful about everything. And I listen to the people whenever they talk to me. Those days I get really annoyed. You know, I just want to put my views right away to them, uh, whether they like it or not. But nowadays, you know, I just listen to them and accept, you know, people, people, each and every person has their own individual sort of soul plan. Therefore, uh, we can't actually interfere these, you know, each and uh, other people's life. You know, they, they need to learn, they need to understand what they really need to do in their life. And this, uh, so do we. And, you know, it's definitely changed my life. And the thing is, you know, the people you associate, uh, you know, I dropped out quite a lot of people, even though there are lots of friends, you know, uh, um, uh, it's not a deliberate attempt to drop them off. But the thing is, you know, your connection actually changed. You know, so many different people, you know, I got, uh, I connected nearly 3,000 people in the group. And everyone sort of, you know, everyone loves you. You know, uh, everyone actually sort of, you know, in the same tune as what you want to achieve. The only thing that is such a wonderful thing to connect with these people rather than sort of, you know, uh, wasting your time. You know, there are so many other um, other groups um, you know, people actually join, you know, they chit chat and things like that. You know, we are not wasting our time. We are daily, we are making progress in our life. That's a wonderful thing, actually, you know, uh, has happened within the last six years as well. Thank you. Wow. So well said. So well <laughs> said. Uh, yes, I personally feel that, yes, what you said, every every little thing that you mentioned makes so much of sense to me personally also because mm. you know as we all know that we are formed a different community of of a family within this globe you know mm -hmm. we as a family of uh, meditators are spreading 
um, you know, meditation and, and all of us are got this responsibility and I had to kind of, you know, uh, spread this more and more amongst people who are ignorant about this. Mm. So, what was your experience uh, with with our grandmaster, our dear friend, I call him, uh, mm -hmm. Patriji, and, and, and you know, like, um, tell me something, what did you get attracted to about him? And, um, you know, his knowledge, his teachings, and uh, what what did you know what was the charismatic thing that moved you towards him and what was your first meeting with him i want to know that thank you thank you yeah um, um then uh, just go, going back the connection with the pssm and the my meditation journey past six years um uh, i'll start with a little bit of that so that i can actually connect with the patriji sir how i got connected uh this was on the um, 22nd of june 2018 um, my sort of journey started. I, I normally sort of, you know, when I wake up, I flick through my mobile phone, you know, what, what's, what's the news? This is like a, you know, routine for 99% of the whole, you know, population in the world, I suppose, they flick through the phone. And I flick through and I saw this one little advert pops up, uh, popped up. Uh, this is from PSSM UK. Um, uh, I think that they used to sort of market through the uh, Facebook. And I saw this advert, uh, free meditation workshop in Harrow, that is in uh, um, uh, Harrow Art Centre. And uh, free workshop, hour and a half to two hours, uh, free event, please come and join. This was on a Friday, 20, uh, 22nd of June. And what you normally do is, you know, when you flick through the mobile, you see something and um, you actually, once you flick, the advert goes and you never see it. But that particular day, I thought, you know, I don't want to miss this uh, opportunity. And straight away in the bed, I booked it. Uh, and that was the following Sunday, 20, uh, 20, uh, 22nd or, uh, no, 23rd or something, a uh, few days' time. Um, there was a workshop. And straight away, I booked it and I went alone for this uh, Sunday workshop. And that was organized by uh, Spiritual Tablet as well as the PSSM UK. And I went along very sort of, you know, open mind. I I, well, I mean, I'm an open-minded person. And therefore, you know, I just want to go and see what's this all about, you know. And uh, um, initially, they sort of um, played uh, the, the spiritual reality video uh, we normally use and play that one. And uh, they mentioned about uh, like a pyramid. I don't know what they were talking about, this uh, pyramids and et cetera. And... Um, uh, 20 minutes of meditation as well in the part of this uh, workshop, one hour and a half workshop. And they, they gave me a pyramid hat. Uh, you know, uh, what is this cat? You know, I thought, you know, this is like, you know, in Thailand when they actually do some farming, they wear this sort of thing. You know, what's this uh, hat? You know, what you're going to do with this hat? Then uh, they gave me a little booklet, Science of Meditation. And they didn't ask anything else. That is another sort of, you know, uh, trigger me, you know, normally there's always a catch, you know, when it says in a free event, they normally, you know, oh, this course is like a 3,000 pounds, you know, or 1,000 pounds, you register today, you know, you get a 500 pounds off today, you know, uh, there should be a catch. You know, they were not talking, nothing about anything like this sort of thing. And only thing they asked me is, you know, can I have your mobile phone number? I gave my, you know, happily gave the mobile number, even if, if they actually annoy me, I can block them, you know, give the mobile number, it's not a problem. And came I came along with this pyramid hat and the, you know, uh, the small booklet. Then I did a little bit of research, you know, I just need to check, you know, there's got to be some sort of catch at some point, you know, you just sign up for this one. But I couldn't find anything wrong with it. And I really like, you know, all the people, you know, they were so happy on top of it, you know, everyone was so happy. Everyone wanted to talk to you as well. Therefore, you know, here we go, you know, then they gave, they sent me the link because they had the mobile. Then I started sort of on and off, started to meditate as well. You know, the, uh, even six years ago, they used to have a morning and evening meditation. Time to time, whenever I get an opportunity, I sort of meditate. Then slowly I actually got into this, uh, you know, just uh, on and off meditation for a couple of months. Then what happened was this, um, Dr. G.K. sir came to UK that particular uh, uh, in August. He came, then 
um, there was a session, similar sort of session. So I sort of, you know, okay, this is, you know, this is good. Uh, let's go and see. Then our grandmaster, Patrick, is a lad that uh, on the um, uh, 18th of uh, August, uh, like a two months' time, he actually came to UK, followed by Pradeep Vijay Sir came. Therefore, it's like all three masters came within two months of um, you know, after I learned three, uh, you know, this meditation technique. Here we go. You know, they, they, they were so, you know, I can actually see this is real. You know, these people coming all the way from India and telling about meditation it, uh, got to be something, you know, I need to take it serious. Then, uh, then um, first time I actually met Patrija sir. Um, that is in August, uh, 25th of August or something. Then when I actually met him, you know, it's like, you know, it's a Brahmashri, you know, grandmaster. Uh, I was so scared to see him. He was very friendly and straight away he asked me, you know, without no question, can you teach meditation? My goodness, what, you know, can you teach meditation? Then immediately, uh, you know, um, I gave answer. Yes, sir, I can teach you meditation with you. If you can, you know, give me uh, some guidance how to do it, um, you know, I am happy to take that challenge. Uh, yeah, you are in. He said, you are in. Okay. Then um, uh, I think, you know, some of the PSS and masters were around. Then uh, um, uh, I was asking, you know, he asked me, can you teach meditation? What's this all about? You know, it's going to be some sort of, you know, uh, <laughs> Then um, they said, you know, he, he will ask direct question. Uh, I mean, I think the Ravi Karan sir said that thing that time. He said, you know, he can see you. But he can see you, <laughs> your purpose of life and everything, he can see you. That's why he actually asked this direct question. And I think you actually answered very nicely to him. I mean, it was a, uh, in front of people as well, you know, uh, um, it's not a, you know, a private chat. He straight away asked, can you teach meditation out of the, you know, while I was sitting in the audience. Then uh, that that is the first interaction. Then also I had opportunity to go to Bra uh, Pramit Valley in Bangalore. And uh, we went there and we actually sort of spent one day with him. And uh, yeah, uh, there were like, a, you know, 25 people in a, a retreat. But um, um, uh, he asked, you know, I mean, he must have sort of, you know, interacting with everyone. And he asked, you know, where are you from? And I said, I'm from UK. Uh, UK is okay. And there are so many masters there. You know, you can learn so much from them. You know, you don't need any guidance from me. You know, you can learn from them. And, you know, he, he started to like, you know, uh, ignoring sort of thing. But at the end of the day, you know, he knows the UK is, you know, uh, um, UK is um, compared to India. Next one is like a UK at that time sort of, you know, doing and teaching a great work for the, you know, UK population. Therefore, um, that was the interaction with the Pramashri. And uh, other one is, you know, as you all know, he started to come on our Zoom session on a regular basis. And that was other interaction. And he, he, he actually really, me um, um, June 2020, this during the former time, out of the blue, he said, uh, Kula, meditation need to go to Sri Lanka. Uh, that, that's another task he actually gave me. And uh, now, um, you know, I was learning everything in English and all these words and everything they were using in, like, you know, uh, I'm not, uh, is a spirituality has lots of, you know, words and everything and I was thinking you know how I'm going to teach meditation in Tamil in Sri Lanka therefore that is another sort of you know big project he actually gave me and I was actually trying to find some people in UK who actually have lots of connection with uh, you know, Sri Lanka then um, while I was doing this work translating all the English like you know meditation session and the wisdom sharing in uh, uh, um, from English to Tamil to start my project, teaching the meditation in Tamil language. Uh, this was in, uh, um, during the COVID time as well, that time. Um, that's how we actually connected with so many masters through the, you know, seeing their face uh, through the Zoom. Then one day Ayapa sir actually sort of, you know, this is in 2000, he said, um, um, I want to start meditation through online now. And I actually met him when I was in Bangalore in 2018-19. Then he actually sent me a message. I want to uh, start meditation through Zoom. Um, Zoom. 
then i said yeah in uk we actually do meditation through online yeah you can start and then he actually started ask like you know he's a senior master but he was asking lots of question like you know uh, how do you actually do this and things are like that i said we have a whatsapp group and he he is an it person he asked me like you know how do you do the whatsapp group then i actually started the english whatsapp group for uh, um, ayapas then that actually started like you know three uh, uh, we actually had a limit of 256 people can all join the whatsapp group we actually had a english uh, group three groups with uh, like a 256 people that is like a 700 people was in the english group that time then after one week of starting the english meditation he said i want to teach meditation in tamil oh here we go this is the sort of you know uh, this is what the grandmaster asked me to do now at least zoom we can start the tamil meditation group then ayapas started the tamil meditation group as well therefore that is another you know 200 people on the tamil meditation group the all in all we were teaching from 2020 for five mandalas that is five times 41 days meditation for three four groups that is leaving the there was a telugu group canada group and things are that leaving those group english and tamil we actually had like wow. a 900 people learning meditation during the covid time because everyone had the plenty of, uh, plenty of time um, at home sitting doing nothing and i a puzzle he said you know i want to do five mandalas you know when they actually do one mandala they will actually understand if they do five mandalas they can do whatever they want to do in their life if they actually follow it properly therefore he said i want to complete five mandalas that is 41 days of five continuous and i mean he he every day he actually sort of dedicated those uh, uh, five mandalas because you know he not only doing the english session every day english tamil then kannada telugu so many other languages so he is very fluent on all the languages as well therefore masters actually learn the meditation technique from english um, they started to the kannada group and the telugu group as well therefore he did a wonderful job and you know he is a wonderful master and um, on top of it like i had so many opportunity to meet uh, um, you know, pradeep vijay sir i actually had a Uh, um, 15 days retreat in the bangalore rabbit valley and uh, now he is doing a live session as well at the same time he is doing a live session i can't believe he is doing a live session at the other end and i'm doing a live session here and uh, you know i learned so much from him he is very very disciplined master but i learned so much and he is doing how to burn your karma session right now and here we go i am actually learned so much, so many techniques and Uh, tips from him i am actually sort of you know have a live session today is is a wonderful wonderful thing and the uh, other uh, um, the tamil group the ayapasar group actually he is the one actually trigger that uh, tamil group session through the zoom then this uh, in my back of the mind you know i had this uh, request from the patriji sir we need to start the tamil group then um, tamil group in a sense like you know there was a group going but top of it um, uh, the musrikanta uh, sir and arantha sir they accidentally on the on the uh, on the internet they actually found the ps some tamil meditation and uh, they wanted to do like a 5 minutes meditation for the world peace then uh, here we go i actually con- connected with them during the same time and they started their uh, meditation in the same time in 2020 uh um uh, arundhati madam and the um um sri kanda uh, sir and also another master called uh, kanagi madam these all three people started their own meditation group and uh, um, uh, today they are actually doing daily three meditation as well as uh, wisdom sharing three times a day and you know today i think they are 1236 day to day doing three meditation every day wow excellent uh, superb every Wonderful. day every Wonderful. day you see like 80 people joining that uh, meditation group that is one of the wonderful achievement i mean you know they have uh, masters across the europe australia you know sri lanka india everywhere in the world 
and the 11 o'clock meditation every day that is go through the pss on tamil as well therefore their work is like you know worldwide session for the tamil tamil speaking people across the world as you all know there are tamil people in malaysia singapore um, you know, all over the world, europe you know uh, europe canada everywhere the tamil people are tamil speaking people are there therefore they are doing a wonderful work on that side Uh, and we all are doing the english session in the uk and the across the world wonderful work we are doing thank you so much wonderful. thank you thank you kulash sir i want to ask you this and i want <laughs> to ask you this please tell me did you get an opportunity to physically hug grandmaster patriji and the moment you hugged him if you did or did you touch him physically because you know i'm been one of those guys who has never ever seen him physically or physically you know met him and i've heard so much about his you know about his physical appearance that i just want you to kind of you know uh, describe to me if you ever done that to him did you ever hug him did you kind of you know what was that what was that energy tell me about that i'm more excited about that more than anything else <laughs> uh, i mean i must say i was initially very scared of him is like a, you know, okay. you know uh, but i actually touched him but um, right. uh, I, I never had opportunity to hug him but i think he is friendly enough to hug uh, hug each and every person uh, yes. I, i don't i don't know sure about whether he hugged that much uh, uh, mm-hmm. but you know um, I, i mean is a wonderful i mean is something you know uh, uh, senior masters are very frank with uh, you know things therefore sometimes you know he actually straight away they tell you you know Uh, this is a silly question you are actually asking and now i know mm. what is silly, what is a bad question and a good question but when, when you are actually in the journey you you don't know you know you got to you don't even think because sometimes you know you 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 are you, know, you are using your mind and now we have so you know our consciousness is sort of you know much much better we actually think and we stop thinking you know just have a moment before we ask the question before that you know therefore i, I was a little bit scared about asking lots of question but um, um, he, he is such a wonderful person i mean uh, 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 you know uh, uh, whenever i see kiss like you know wisdom sharing and everything sort of you know i really really wanted to kiss the sort of screen this is that much love i have for him and you know uh, i mean sometimes i feel like you know he uh, he actually play the flute and he sort of you know uh, i feel like he is actually looking at me just you know from, from one eye uh, while he is playing you know uh, time to time i play his music and he is such a one i mean he is there with us and he he promise uh, i mean he mentioned he will be in the planet earth for 2020 2095 and i believe it i mean he mentioned that one while he was in a physical form and i thought you know uh, that that's another thing I, w- i would like to share then when i heard he actually vacated the body i actually i could have believe it this was a true story and uh, because uh, uh, um parry members in uh, in uk at that time two to three days before yes. she came she was there. actually she was actually in my house in that day <laughs> yeah, she, she she came she came yeah. but you know uh, this is another sort of experience i couldn't actually sort of she came and we were actually putting our uh, you know session across the uk and i was uh, given the first slot to have a session and that was the only session she did in the uk and uh, you know the fo- the following day she actually flew back to um, the sea patriji sir therefore you know that is another experience i had you know why on earth and she was uh, you also came to our house and you know she was in a so much happy and everything and uh, the news was very upsetting news but uh, you know uh, i mean definitely uh, he actually mentioned he is going to be with us till two- 2095 and we can actually feel his energy is still with us and you know that that energy is actually guiding us to do our work and we have a big job in our hand to spread this uh, uh, meditation across the world right thank right thank you so you know you just mentioned and um, you know i also feel that we see a lot of humans go into the religious path rather than the spiritual path so what is your view on this and 
how would you differentiate between religious being religious or being spiritual could you please you know elaborate on that yeah yeah sure so uh, is so lots of people actually sort of you know have, i mean uh, even i know lots of friends and sort of you know family uh, they are they, they you know they don't miss to go to the temple and even i used to go to the temple but past 6 years you know i actually cut out the, that side of it is it, not you know i'm still a very religious person i you know uh, um, you know i respect on top of i respect all the religion as well um, uh, there is no doubt about it but the thing is you know when you actually uh, people believe still they believe um, uh, so many issues and everything like you know people are suffering and they think you know they, when you go to the temple Uh, that's the end of it when you go to the temple you can actually get rid of it but you know the science doesn't say uh, uh, that's sort of message end of the day you know you create your own reality you got so much in your head when you go to the temple yeah of course you actually feel happy and uh, joy because you know the temples are highly sort of vibrated place because people actually go there with the mindset you know to have some peace and um, harmony there therefore and also they maintain that way therefore you actually get a little bit sort of joy and uh, happiness when you go to the temple but when you walk out from the temple you know you you are upset again you know your your mind actually go into sort of you know the, the same old pattern thought patterns and everything just goes you know here we go we actually go into a thing and the, this is where if you actually practice i mean whenever i go to the temple i go and sit and meditate there you know see a little bit sort of you know with open eye the rest of the time i actually meditate and the ancient temple when you actually think about it uh, they are all built for meditation but nowadays you know no one is actually practicing meditation in the temple because meditation were built uh, temples were built for meditation and you know sit down get the community together and speak speak about the wisdom you know knowledge sharing the knowledge and everything but that's not happening it's the same with the churches mosque wherever you know uh, they do prayers prayers are good you know prayers are just uh, give you a little bit sort of you know uh, peace and calm when you actually listen that sort of thing end of the day you don't get 100% i mean there are there are people um, you know uh, enlightened using their uh, religious path but i find it spiritual path is the fast track journey to to actually get the enlightenment and uh, end of the day you know um, people actually talk about enlightenment you know uh, even i have a big confusion about the enlightenment you know why people want to get enlightenment i mean this is so much lovely to have a, like a physical body the why do you actually want to get enlightened you know have another birth but i actually point out you know we are doing so many karmas and you know good karma as well as a bad karma and the cycle is going to be repeat if we actually continues to do the bad karma therefore um, when you actually enlightened you get option you get the free will whether you want to come back to earth or not therefore you you get the freedom you know when you have a freedom like that you know why not you know just to go into the spiritual path and you know uh, um I mean so spirituality is a science therefore this is another topic you really want to learn in your life and that is as a fast track thing to actually get enlightened in a sense uh, let me say a few things about the religion and the um, uh, spirituality and when you actually um, religion is believing in someone else experience uh, that, that that's the core of the religion but the, when you t- think about the spirituality is having your own experience this is what we actually exp- you know when you sit in the meditation we actually experience our own, own reality you know what sort of things we have that that's a different between one of the different other one is a religion is based on the fear you know there are so many fears involved with the you know go to the temple and do this one otherwise you know you are going to have the bad thing bad luck in your life you know therefore that is a fear based um, thing is a religion but spirituality is based on a freedom you know we get a complete freedom there is there is no one there to sort of you know tell you 
do this, this one. This is like a complete freedom when it comes to free, uh, spirituality. Religion is the people afraid of going to hell, you know, because uh, uh, if I don't go to the te temple, uh, you know, I'm going to go to hell, you know, let's go to the temple and do some prayers. Spirit spirituality is, is for the people who have already been to hell. Therefore, you know, they know in and out of it, you know, they are alive once you actually go into the spirituality. Uh, religion separate, uh, you know, people have a different sort of belief system. Religion actually sort of, you know, split people. Uh, some of the problem in the world is as a religion actually sort of split the world, you know, all the war and everything. Religion actually separate people. But the spirituality unite, as you all know, we all are like a family. All the uh, PSS and masters, uh, nearly 100,000 masters across the world. We all are feel like a family, spirituality, unite people. Just uniting each and every people here, that, that is that's a way forward to stop these wars and, you know, all this aggression between countries to countries, people to people, community to community, uh, race to race, you know, we need to unite. Only I believe the spirituality can actually unite the people. Uh, religion, God is outside. But the spirituality say the God is within you and you can actually feel that uh, God within you. Uh, religion worship God, spirituality become one with the God. Therefore, you know, that is the beauty of, uh, you know, when you actually go into spirituality. Religion is like a being stuck on the fishbowl with the only limited things explore. Uh, uh, limited things to explore. Spirituality is like a, having an entire ocean to explore without any limit. Therefore, that, that is, the, that is the, my definition of, you know, so, um, there are lots of lots of people in the world, you know, they, they, uh, they, they are actually in a um, religious path. That is fine, that is fine. But one day in their life, they will actually, they need to go into a spirituality to understand more about it. And, you know, uh, that is what, you know, people need to, you know, if they want a peace, if they actually want to get rid of their mental issues, end of the day, you know, just going to the temple, you actually get a small, for a short period, you actually feel happy. So, you know, but spirituality, meditation, what we actually do, these all actually give us sort of, you know, 24 seven happiness. Therefore, that is, that is a message I would like to pass on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. So, so Pulasa, tell me something. Uh, in your opinion, how does spirituality connect with practical everyday life because you just mentioned about you know being you know people are always facing you know the situations which are like worse than hell every day on everyday life so how does it help you particularly in your profession which is of accounting uh, you know how does it affect you i mean how does it kind of influence you yeah it's it's like you know the way of thinking things like you know your your, your mind is so clear you know, you 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 can actually focus because uh, average person get like you know forty thousand to seventy thousand thoughts. Therefore, if we actually start to learn a technique, how you can actually cut down that thought and have a moment to think about things, you know, that is a wonderful thing to start off. Therefore, you I actually find it. I don't have any problems. You know, everything I normally come across day and day out is a challenge. Is like a well, when it's actually tackle in that way, you you are actually uh, you know you are free person, you know you are not taking anything serious about it, um, you know it, it's nothing bothering you. You actually got an empty mind, uh, uh, twenty four seven. Therefore, you can take just you know give a little bit of time to analyze, um, you know what you need to do, and also on top of it, you know you you actually get an answer. The answer actually come from your soul. And that answer is hundred percent sort of, you know, there's an intuition actually guiding you exactly how to tackle that one. Before that, you actually you are actually in a model. You know, how to actually tackle this one, what to do. You know, you actually cry for help. And on top of it, no, no one is actually, you know, we actually expect someone is going to help you. You know, that's not going to happen in this world nowadays. You know, the people used to help you. But nowadays, you know, the world is changing. Therefore, you are not going to help that much help from the outsider. Therefore, you need to resolve all, all your day-to-day day -day things. And the, the guidance comes from within you. 
all the answers, all the challenges you are actually getting day and day out uh, is an experience. You you actually planned it to have it, but you know with the meditation, you you can actually resolve those challenges and move on day and day out. You know that that's the beauty I have actually going to spirituality. I can actually find the answers to all my day to day issues. Does that answer your question? Yeah, of course, definitely. Yeah. Thank you, thank Fine. you. So you know, after you know, as I said, you've been in meditation for six years now. Tell yeah. me something uh, about any experience that you've had in in this this particular you know six years of that. Any special uh, you know experience that you'd like to mention, which is kind of stands out in your life. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I think you know I, I'm much much nicer person comp compared to like you know before. It's like a, everyone is friendly with me. You know that is that's another sort of thing I actually found it. Everyone always want to sort of be with me. I mean, uh, sometimes I don't understand why everyone want to be with me, and because I think you know you actually attract all these you know high um, with your high vibration you actually attract so many people before I, I find it like you know so, so i'm i'm so happy with uh, and also you know people people actually uh, listen to you you know people actually listen to you you are actually giving something uh, some sort of good advice even though they actually they won't implement straight away but end of the day you know they actually have a moment you know i better do something about it you know is is like a you know um, directly or indirectly, you are actually guiding them. Therefore, that as a beauty, um, I actually came to know, like you know, you are actually uh, knowingly or without knowingly, you are actually helping people, and that that uh, uh, um, uh, that uh, that action is happening in the background. Therefore, uh, I'm actually enjoying that bit as well. Yeah, thank you. Wow, wonderful. So, what message, you know, you think would you like to leave for those? just starting their spiritual journey or you know people who are not aware of it or who just want to kind of are on the beginner stage of it um, who are struggling to maintain a continuous practice what message would you like to give for those people or those masters? Like a, thank you thank you for that question it's like a uh, you know sometimes something actually come and knock on your door and uh, um, uh, this is what you know. You got to be sort of watch out. Uh, if, if you think you know everything, this is one of the thing people actually think. You know, they they can actually sort their problem, or they get the help. No one is actually going to help you except yourself. You need to help yourself. And one of the main problem people actually have is you know they think you know they can find all the information in the internet. They can actually, uh, uh, someone is going to help you. Uh, uh, this sort of attitude is the one, is actually sort of, you know, most people actually have. They can actually find their solution from the internet. They can actually, uh, um, you know, if you are struggling with this, someone is going to, well, believe it or not, no one is actually going to help you. You need to help yourself. I mean, uh, Gautam Buddha actually said, you know, um, 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 you need to find the light within you. He, he's, uh, therefore, that particular moment when it's actually sort of struck you, um, you know, you need to sort your life out. You need to find the true self of yourself. That is a moment you actually, uh, the, the, the trigger actually come. That particular trigger time, if you actually get to know one of these people who actually connected with you in the past, you know, be in touch with them. You know, they, they, are, the, they are the power, they are the energy trying to sort of tell you something to help you. Therefore, if you came across something, uh, you know, is a, you know, there's on the YouTube as well. If you came across something, you know, our service is hundred percent free. You know, we don't actually charge any money. Therefore, somebody is actually genuinely helping you. You know, take the advantage of it, learn something. You know, um, it, it is not an easy one. You know, sitting and observing your breath that is one of the hardest thing to do. But we uh, practice, pra practice make perfect. Therefore, simply, you know, you, um, um, uh, you can't actually sort of jump, jump from, you know, most of the people think, like, you know, I got a headache, take a paracetamol, you know, that will go away, probably that will go away. But you got so much problem in your mind, it's not going to go away with the one shot. Therefore, meditation is a daily practice. Therefore, you need to do like a, you know, regular practice, 
regularly you need to upgrade yourself in order to you know um, uh, uh, i would like to add something like uh, you know this is something i learned uh, a, a child born up to age of seven they are like a beautiful soul you know they are, you, you must have sort of we, we all came across like you know children um, they are they are so happy up to age of seven i mean except you know uh, a few few places you know they don't have a good life but when you uh, look at a child uh, they are all by his happy and joy then from age seven to 35 they actually started to program their themselves that, that this is a, like a science Sci scientists uh, and researchers, researchers actually found this information up to 35 years of age they program themselves and whatever you actually do you can actually test yourself whatever you did at the age of 75 you will actually do for your life let's say I, I was an accountant at the age of 35 and 95 percent uh, is a proof i will do as an accountant as a job in my life it's the same thing across the world whatever you do by the age of 835 you will actually follow on that, that job therefore 95 percent of your um, subconscious mind is programmed by the time of age of 35 what you got you got a five person left in your uh, subconscious uh, 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 mind to program with this five percent subconscious mind uh, left over you actually are you want to be rich you want to be healthy. You want to, you know, um, enjoy life. You can't because, you know, uh, your, your brain is full of, you know, rubbish with whatever you actually, um, you know, uh, put in your uh, subconscious mind 35 years. And, you know, if you are struggling after 35 years, then uh, probably you haven't actually done, you know, you haven't actually done it, uh, uh, done any good. If you are still struggling, if you are still having a problem, your life is, you know, you need to, Correct. Therefore, you only got 5%. With that 5%, your life is not going to change. Therefore, you need to undo some of these old program, you know, whatever you wire and fired for the 35 years, you need to undo some of them, put some nice, good stuff in the, in your subconscious mind. This is where the uh, meditation comes to play. You actually, you know, get the rubbish out, put some new, th uh, new stuff. Therefore, you know, uh, th this is how the meditation works. It's like a uh, you are decoding your computer, you know, clearing all the rubbish and putting some new stuff. Uh, the, the, this is the only way. Just uh, close your eyes and observe your breath. That's the time, you know, you can actually get all the rubbishes out and put some new stuff. Therefore, you know, start your pr uh, meditation. If somebody actually mentioned about word meditation, just jump on it. Because it used to be like a yoga nowadays throughout the world. Uh, 20 years ago, if somebody actually said, you know, meditation, you know, you can't find anything. Now, the meditation is on your phone. You know, it, it's so easy. And if it is a 50 years ago, uh, you, uh, no one actually heard about meditation. If you really want to do some meditation, you must be a sort of rishi or someone in the past life and just go and meditate like, you know, 50 years ago. It's, uh, people never heard about it. Now, the meditation word is everywhere in the world. You know, on your phone, you know, Google, find out, you know, you can actually find, you know, whether it's, whether it's a true or not. There's a scientific papers there to back it up. Every, uh, the meditation is science. Therefore, the information is there. You know, why don't you try it and see? That is my, you know, beyond that for the newcomers. Right. Wonderful, wonderful. So last but not the least, short and sweet, if you can tell me, what is your what you want to achieve for yourself and what's your goal right uh, before i actually finish i actually i actually heard a, a nice little story i actually forgot to mention let me actually tell me this story and finish by are we are nearly um nearly come to the end yes we are we are, we are nearly there okay. so okay. if you could just uh, do it a little quickly please very Thank quickly this is a wonderful yeah. story and i actually forgot to mention on the mobile thing um, you know, one day, uh, an old man uh, um, went to Jesus and asked, you know, can you actually come and see my sick daughter? Uh, and Jesus said, you know, fine, I'll come and um, come and see your sick daughter. Because you know, those days people actually sort of, you know, do this sort of thing. Then uh, Jesus, uh, when Jesus actually said, you know, he has so many dis uh, disciples and everyone, everyone, you know, said, okay, oh, do we really need to go now? Jesus said, you know, 
okay everyone actually started to walk this is like a narrow path a narrow lane everyone actually um, started to walk toward this uh, old man uh, this uh, desperate man's uh, house then when jesus actually came out everyone was talking you know um, the news actually spread like a wildfire jesus is out jesus is out the crowd actually got really really packed and um, they all walking towards this house then jesus um, sh- um, you know shouted who touched me uh, uh, you know out of the blue then the quiet, uh, the crowd actually went really silent Uh, uh, then they, the disciples started to sort of, you know, chit chat, you know, what's the big deal? So, so many people are, you know, you are walking through a narrow lane. What's the big deal? Who touched him? Why is asking like a silly question? Uh, then second time Jesus shouted, you know, who touched me? Then uh, one of the disciples said, oh, what's the big deal, Jesus? You know, it's like, you know, uh, you haven't lost your wallet or anything, you know, why are you worried about this one? You know, let's go. Then the third time Jesus said, you know, who touched me? Then there was a woman behind Jesus, like, you know, um, he said, uh, my Lord, I touched you. But the Jesus, um, Jesus knew why she touched, but she won't, the woman to articulate, you know, the story, why she touched it. Then a uh, woman said, you know, I had some woman problem. I want some, uh, somebody actually told me, if I touch you, uh, um, you know, everything will go. The woman hasn't even touched Jesus' the skin. He actually touched the hem of his cloth. That's, that's, that's a bit, he, she managed to touch it. Then Jesus asked, you know, uh, did anything happen? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel, you know, she was so happy. Then the message here is, you know, Jesus actually stopped the crowd just to see that woman, uh, 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 to hear that woman's thing. Similar thing, we have a responsibility in our hand. There are people we come across, uh, uh, we see them, they want our meditation. All the PSS and Master across the world, they, they, you know, we are going to sort of bank, you know, come across people, they want the meditation. We, we need to spend one minute with them just to teach or tell them about the meditation benefit. So many benefits from the meditation, you can Google and find. That is something, you know, we need to do our work, all the PSS and master. Thank you. Uh, the final question you asked me, what do you want to achieve? Uh, I think, you know, uh, I know, uh, I really know my purpose of life. And the purpose of life is, you know, teaching meditation as well. While I'm working, and that they definitely I will actually carry on. And also, I would like to build a pyramid in Sri Lanka. There are already the two pyramids has been built there. The third one I, I really wanted to build in my village where I actually born, and I got the land there, and I want to build there. On top of this, you know, if everything sort of allows me, I also wanted to build a pyramid in UK. That is also in my uh, things. Uh, I'm pretty sure in this lifetime I want to achieve those two and teach meditation and you know it is like you know connecting with people you know uh, uh, people need this uh, wonderful um, uh, wonderful service for them and it's a completely free service what we do and we do so many sessions and you know 24 7 we can sit and meditate therefore anytime anywhere we can meditate and uh, there are uh, um, even um, Pradeep Biji said, you know, uh, so long ago, if you want to find an answer, it is so difficult those days. There are so many masters, you can actually ask them. And if you miss anything, like, you know, any point, if you actually sort of Google in the you know, meditation channel, you can find the answer as well, any topic. Therefore, the answers are there, you know, why do you want to wait? Just, you know, you know um, make your life beautiful with a, a daily practice of meditation. That is my message. Thank you for uh, thank, you. thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kula, sir. Absolutely profound. Wonderful having chatted with you today uh, officially. Uh, and uh, <laughs> I just want to throw open the floor now to anyone. If anybody has any questions, could you please raise your hands, open your windows, and uh, also, you know, we can start your mic then. So any questions from anybody, please? It's for the next 10 minutes. If you need any doubt so if you need to ask anything from the master here he is come on anyone tick tick one 
Tick, tick, two. Tick, tick, three. No one asking any questions? Wow. Now I like this audience. Lovely. Beautiful. Wonderful. So nice. So, uh, you know, I mean, since everybody says they have no questions to ask you, I would like to officially thank you, sir. Thank you so very, very much for this wonderful session of yours. And on behalf of Infinity, on behalf of all of us, a little thank you with lots and lots of love and lots and lots of gratitude to you. May you always progress in this mission of yours, in this vision of yours that you want to achieve for all the humans. And, uh, you know, I'd like to kind of, you know, just say this because, you know, you know that I love singing. So I'm going to just end this with, uh, with a little song that I'm dedicating to you and to all the lovely masters who are in this path of meditation. And his head goes, Kisi ki muskura hato pe ho nisa Kisi ka dant mil sake to le utha Kisi ke vaasate ho tere dil me pyaar Jeena kisi ka naam hai Kisi ki muskura hato pe ho nisa Kisi ka dant to mil sake to le utha kisi ke vaaste ho tere dil mein pyaar jeena isi ka naam hai so thank you thank you thank you to your thank wonderful you. session to your you know that the the, the the things that you're doing for all of us and uh, you know i just love you sir for your wonderful smile your great ambition that you have towards humanity so god bless you in this vision and uh, we hope to see you more often in infinity thank you thank you thank you yeah, so finally thank you for the pssm uk pssm tamil group infinity pssm tamil uh, english channel all of the all of the masters and the all of the masters across the world thank you for your wonderful work thank you for this opportunity there's a great opportunity to spread the message to you know there are Uh, uh, because it's recorded is uh, you know um, across the world people are going to see it and you know we need to uh, do the, our work and we have a big job in our hand to teach meditation and you know that's a wonderful work we are doing each and every masters you know in this uh, channel as well as doing their work in the background thank you so much thank you so much and uh, well done thank you thank you everyone thank you thank you thank you thank you everybody and uh, yes of course i need to thank uh, you know pnc uk pssm global infinity pnc <laughs> english you know and of course to prithvi ji who is you know kind of brought me into this uh, situation and of course pl pl sharma sir who asked me to kind of conduct the session which i was honored to do that so thank you thank you thank you to every one of you thank you Thank you.